So here on the screen, we have multiple galleries, all displaying different types and pieces of information with different search engines, associated search boxes associated with them. What we need to do is be able to filter this information. I only want, in this example, I only want the notes for so many days back. The rest of them, I want them to automatically get put somewhere else in the system, not displayed here on this quick and easy dashboard for managing your priorities and tasks and notes and such. So how do we do that using the current date or the created date versus the current date of the calendar on your computer? How do we go back in time and only pull what we need? I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a filter that you have to set up within the gallery itself. So let's jump right to it. So here you have basically a set of notes. These are all notes and um, that have been collected, but I have a lot of notes and I I have them, some of them are archived, some of them are archived, and we just want to display all of them. We just want to display, excuse me, we only want to display some of them uh, within our section here. So here, this is really just the immediate, the last 30 days, for example, which is what we have it set for now. So how do we do that? First thing we need to do is click on the column it's on the gallery itself, and then go down, and we're going to put in, and I put a few notes in here for you, right here, we're going to set up what we call a var start date a variable inside the app start area where we're going to count back the days. And then we're just going to say from the date created, right, is greater than um, this var state greater than or equal to the created date. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, let me squeeze this. I always do this. Uh, let me squeeze this on that thing. So here we have the app. That's where we're working right here. And we're gonna to go to, on, on not on select. Um, where is it, oops. Go back to the app, on start. There it is right there, on start, okay. And so this means it on, when the system starts, it's gonna do all of these things inside here. And this is the one that we want here. Now we could do it on an end date as well. That's on another video, but this right here, I'm just saying I want everything for the last 30 days. So 30 days back is what I'm getting here. Let's say that I only want, so here this one's from the 29th of January. Let's say I just want the last day, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Right here, you gotta do a right click, say run on start. And now notice that a lot of the information goes away, only these three uh, stay on top. And again, we can expand that out to 30 and go ahead and run it and it'll pull out 30. So this runs whenever your app starts, okay? And we're just simulating that run by doing that, okay? So that's basically how you do it from the variable perspective. And let's go ahead and take a look at the code again real quick here. So we're just gonna go to the gallery itself. Remember. I'm highlighted right here on the gallery, the top end of the gallery, okay? And then it's the items section, okay? So right there. All right, and we'll walk through this real quick together. So here what I'm doing, now, this is non-delegable, this search function here, okay? So if you're dealing with really large data sets, this is not the solution for you. You're gonna have to do it uh, differently, but for me, I archive everything within um, 60 days into another uh, area. So my list, my galleries never get that large, right? Over 2,000 lines. It, it's always very manageable. So it doesn't get over a couple hundred lines. So I'm good to go using this, but just, just be cautious of it. And here I'm calling, this is calling the... Um, uh, the list, and this happens to be in a SharePoint list, so it's calling this one right here. And then this is that variable that we just set up, and we're just using this as a built-in, created. It's inside of the list, it's a created field. Then this note, um, I had it as a different field and I just used it, which is kind of sloppy, but note type, no means it's not a task. So I just kind of put a note in there for me so I don't um, forget. Right, because I don't want any of the tasks which are shown up over here. I don't want them to show up in my notes. And then we're searching on the note, which is this box right here. That's the name of it right there, search notes. And then we're searching, these are the things, and there you see the delegation um, 
warning. We're searching for task name, related ID, and the work notes. And then we're, we're gonna sort descending, meaning that the most current is at the top of the list by the created field, and that's it. So that's about as, as easy as it is. Once you, know, once you know how to do it, I guess it's not really that tough to do. So uh, that will get this filtered and sorted exactly like you want it. Good luck.